body. In this video, I will present you what we will do this week. What do you already know? It starts to be crowded there. You know how to implement applications. Even games or complex applications dealing with geolocation, multilingualism, cameras, photo library, contact book, etc. etc. To do so, you know how to handle views. MVC, you experimented a bit of storyboard, you know the programmatic way to build views, and you know how to handle these programmatic ways by means of constraints. We used mainly visual format language. And you know how to handle device orientation, etc. etc. You are also able to handle hierarchies of views and sophisticated views arrangement. You should be an expert in terms of delegation because you had a bit of practice. And you know how to use a few nice gadgets, device sensors, you know how to deal with touch, multi touch, and you know a bit of sound music and access to the music library. That's nice. Let's have a look on what we will do this week. We will come back to notification and I will give you the full schema of notification because in fact uh, you may be just users of notification generated by iOS or any iOS framework but you can be interested in using notifications yourself. Okay, so in fact there are several types of notification. There are local notification between apps, so the one you were using when you were for example uh, tracking uh, uh, change of track or etc. in the MP uh, player controller, but you also have user notification that are local push notifications and we will not present push notification but you will see thanks to user notification, the global philosophy of it. And I will explain you why you, we don't present push notifications. It's a bit complex because you have to change something on the provisioning profile. So it depends on the way uh, you did it. So it's, it's much difficult, more difficult to operate and to uh, demonstrate. We will do a bit of video for the fun. We'll do it minimally, uh, minimum, but enough to let you insert videos in your applications. We will do networking, that's a very important part because you really need to access to the network and we will also do a bit of XML parsing and JSON parsing. Okay? Uh, in fact, this is really important because these applications are much less fun and in fact you lose a lot of the potential of having application running on a small device, or on your phone at least, uh, if you are not using the network. And we will also have a look on Bonjour. Bonjour, that is an implementation of a standard that is called Zero Conf and that allows you to discover your neighborhood without any configuration. And finally, we will deal with data persistency. Uh, first of all, deal with preferences on an application, how you can add some preferences in the preference panel of your device and how we can deal with storage and serialization. Thank you for your attention. See you later. <laughs>